Hey, are you interested in investing in real estate, but you want to know what's the best way for you to maximize your cash flow on your investment? Hi, I'm Jim Fong. I'm an investor and realtor in Las Vegas, and I help investors like you find the best invent investment properties. All right. So here's the thing. All right. Traditional real estate. A lot of people, uh, you know, often buy rental properties and they just rent it out. It's a great way, very stable, safe way, more of a long-term investment style. And then you have flippers, right? You know, you buy a house, put some work into it, sell it for more, make it a profit like that, right? But nowadays, we have other options, all right? So I'm finding more and more with my own investments and with my investor clients that short-term rentals are a really, really good way to maximize your cash flow every month, all right? A short-term rental is kind of like a vacation house rental or Airbnb, it's kind of those things. So you're renting them out for a shorter period of time, maybe like a weekend, maybe a week, something like that if you're unfamiliar with the, what those are, but that's what it is, all right? So you just, instead of renting a house out for say, like a 12 month lease, six month lease or something like that, you're just renting it out for a very short amount of time. And because you're renting it out for a very short amount of time, you're charging kind of a daily rate, okay? Because it's um, us they're usually furnished already, and they're for a shorter amount of time, and you know you as the landlord are paying for the utilities and all that stuff and things like that, you can charge a lot more on the daily rate, okay? And when you charge more on a daily rate and you have a good occupancy on this property, you can really, really improve your ca monthly cash flow thus improving your ROI on this investment, all right? So, you know, let's let's talk about some real life examples though. I think that's the best way to illustrate these things, all right? So, for example, I'm in Las Vegas, all right? It's it's a great city to, you know, try things like this, obviously because of our tourism industry here, right? So that's good. that's one thing. But here's the thing, all right? You can buy a house here in Las Vegas, rent it out. Rents are pretty strong here right now, okay? I'm gonna use an example of like a regular starter home in Las Vegas, all right? The average sale price in Las Vegas right now is still like mid 400s, okay? You buy a house like that, you could probably rent it out for about $2,000 a month on a tr in a traditional way, all right? In a traditional rental where you're doing a 12 month lease and all that stuff, probably about 2,000 a month, okay? Well, if you took that same house and you did a short-term rental on it, and let's just say you get about $300 a night on it, all right? Let's just say you book out half the days of the month, right? All right, so you have 300 times 30 is 9,000. Let's just say 50%, 50% occupancy. That's $4,500 revenue now versus the 2,000 on a traditional rental, right? So that's kind of how it normally works, okay? You can, if you can rent it out and you know have realistic expectations, I don't expect to have a short-term rental booked every night out of the month. I mean, that'd just be really, really tough to do. But if you could do it, you can make a lot of money, right? But I like to use reasonable expectations though. So yeah, like 50% occupancy, you're still making like double what you would have made if you did it on a traditional rental, all right? The downfall to this is the fact that it's not so passive anymore, all right? You you do a traditional rental and you know, you kind of set it and forget it. You let a property manager collect rent for you and deal with the tenant, right? When you're doing a short-term rental, you don't have to do everything yourself, but just know you're gonna have to make arrangements or find a property manager that's going to arrange the cleaning for you, do inventory for you, do the laundry service for you. You're gonna have to pay for the utilities there. You're gonna have to do ma ongoing maintenance with the property as well too. So it's a little it's it's a little more active and less passive, all right? But you can, you know, make at least double your revenue when you go this route though. So those are just a couple reasons why people are going to short-term rentals right now. There's a lot more to it, especially with pricing, how to set it up, how to get bookings, how to get great reviews. And yeah, please, if you have questions or you wanna get into uh, more specifics on things, please drop me a com uh, drop a comment below. And if you're more into long-term investing, I have videos on about that too. So check those out as well too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.